hello welcome back to my channel if you knew you welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you the banana cake or the banana bread recipe so if you've got some old banana you know the ones that have become very dark you don't have to throw them away you can use them in this recipe without wasting time let's just get started i've got three medium sized old bananas over here i'll just go ahead and peel them i'll put them in a big enough bowl i'll come in with my fork and mash it up it's advisable to use a fork instead of a blender because the blender will make it too smooth So it's been mashed very well, I will go ahead and set it aside for later. I'll get a bowl and break in three medium sized eggs. I'll add some vanilla essence. I'll come in with about six tablespoonful of sugar. A pinch of salt to taste. I'll come in with my mixer and whip everything up. I'll pour in 70 grams of melted butter. You can use vegetable oil if you don't have butter. I'll go ahead and mix it for about 30 seconds. Then I will come in with about five tablespoonful of full cream milk. I'll give it the final mix. I'll pour in about 300 grams of all purpose flour, 15 grams of baking powder, a pinch of cinnamon, I'll come in with my spoon, mix it up till it's very smooth and silky. Finally, I'll pour in my mashed banana. The mixture is ready. I've got here my greased pan and it's been lined at the base with a baking paper. I'll pour the cake mixture into it. Now I'm going to bake this in a preheated oven of about 150 degrees Celsius. I'll be baking this for about 40 to 50 minutes. It's been after about 50 minutes and the banana cake is ready. I'll just go ahead and get it out of the pan. I'll leave this alone to cool down. I'll go ahead and cut a piece. I must say, banana cake or bread tastes better the next day. So look at how soft it is. This smells and tastes very delicious. It's been after 24 hours and as you can see, it looks perfect. You can see, you know, the banana inside. You definitely need to give this a try. You can cut it into slices and keep them in the freezer whenever you want to have a piece. You just take one and put it in the microwave. It tastes as good as new. So this is it guys and I hope I did help you. I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.